In this video, we will review an example of a brushless permanent magnet motor simulated in Flux to obtain the cogging torque. We will use one of the Flux templates to define the motor geometry, mesh, and physics. The motor is a three-phase motor with 48 stator slots and eight rotor poles. In Flux, the motor is represented in two dimensions. We are now in the supervisor, which manages the opening of Flux and other tools. First, select a working directory where the Flux project and the log files will be found. Then, select the 2D and New Project buttons. We click on the Start a New Project button to open Flux. With Flux open, we can close the sketcher by clicking the icon. For this demonstration, we will use the overlay menu to create the motor template by clicking Load a Certified Overlay. In the window, we choose the overlay called Brushless Permanent Magnet Motors. We are now in the overlay and we right click to create a new template. The dialog to define the motor is opened. We will enter all necessary geometry and physics data into the fields. First, we choose the creation of an infinite box with the default dimensions. Then, we open the air gap tab and enter a dimension of 0.6 millimeters. On the rotor tab, the number of poles is set to 8 and a rotor external radius of 92 is entered. For the magnet shape, we choose rotor IPM as the type, enter a shaft radius of 56, a magnet thickness of 5, and a magnet pole arc of 140. The image on the right side of the dialog describes each parameter's meaning. For the magnet's shape, we choose type 4 and enter the dimensions. For the stator part, we choose 48 slots with a stator outer radius of 141, a slot shape of stator round with a depth of 30, a tooth width of 6.5, and a slot opening angle of 40. We activate the creation of a winding, and for the winding, choose a lap per pole winding type with a throw of 6 and two coils per pole per phase. We then press enter to create the motor. With the motor created, we can close the overlay context. Now we need to generate the mesh. In the mesh menu, we select the mesh domain option to create the mesh. With the geometry and mesh created, we need to define the physics. First, the physical application should be defined. Here we choose the transient magnetic 2D application. The depth of the domain is 75 millimeters. We can now define the materials. For that, we choose to import materials from the Materials Database Manager. After clicking on the Import command, a connection between Flux and the Material Manager is set. It is shown in this pop-up window. The Material Manager is opened with all the materials in the left pane of the window. We can sort the materials using different criteria. Here, we will use the material family. The first material to import is a soft, non-oriented silicon steel from Kogan. To import the material, we can take the material and drag and drop it into the flux window on the right. The second material is a neo dim ferber magnet from CY Magnetics. With the material selected, we can close the material manager and it will stop the connection. In Flux, we find the two imported materials. Now, we create the mechanical set to define the movement. First, we define the rotor mechanical set defined by a rotation around one axis, parallel to OZ. The pivot points are given coordinates and the kinematics tab is opened. A velocity of 1 over 6 is entered and the position at a time of 0 seconds is entered as 0. 
A second set is created named stator, representing the stator mechanical set. The set is assigned a type of fixed. We now need to set the correct physics on the data sets. In the data tree, the two magnets are selected and the right-click menu is opened. The Edit Array option is selected to edit the face region. In the Modify All column, the subtype is set to Magnetic Non-Conducting Region. The material is set to the CY Magnetics material. And the mechanical set has a value of rotor assigned. Next, the three phase regions are selected and we edit the array. We keep error vacuum region defined for the three phases as we will make a cogging torque computation. And for the mechanical set entities in the Modify All column, set the value to stator. Several other entities are selected and we edit the array. The mechanical set is modified to stator in the Modify All column and we keep the air or vacuum region definition. Finally, the last two entities are selected, the mechanical set is changed to rotor in the Modify All column, and the air or vacuum region definition is kept. The rotor is double-clicked to open the region dialog. The type of region is set to magnetic non-conducting, and the mechanical set option is set to rotor. The stator is opened, then the region is set to magnetic non-conducting, and the material is set to the cogit material. In the Mechanical Set tab, the option is set to Stator. The magnets are selected to set the orientation, and the right-click menu is opened to orient the material for the face region. In the Coordinate System column, the coordinate system is set to Rotor underscore coordinate. Magnet 1 is set to 10, and Magnet 2 is set to minus 10. With the setup complete, the Check Physics option is used to check the model. The output shows when the physics check is complete. We see there are no errors in the check for this example. Now, the solving scenario needs to be set. In the Solving menu, Solving Scenario New Option is selected to open the dialog. The Control by Position option is selected to control the analysis by the rotor position. The higher limit is set to 7.5 and the step value is set to 0 0.1875. Once complete, the arrows are used to add the definition to the interval table. The OK button completes the setup. The model is now ready to solve. In the Solving menu, the Solve option is clicked to open the Solve dialog. A name is entered in the New Project field and the solver is launched. Once the solver is complete, for this example about 2 minutes, the curve menu is opened and a 2D curve is created. The curve can be created from the region or a mechanical set. In this demonstration, the mechanical set will be used and the electromagnetic torque button is clicked. The dialogs are closed and the curve of the cogging torque appears on the screen.